Hello friends, hope you are doing well. I am Narayan and in this episode, I am going to teach you the basics of SEO, search engine optimization. The goal of learning SEO is making your website or web page top in Google search result or any other search engine results. So in this uh, course we are going to discuss about the basic concepts that generally uh, a beginner level SEO learner should learn and we are going to talk about this in this video so let's begin our course first question first how to become number one in Google search result it's a very big question and uh, understanding the process requires some sort of knowledge and that knowledge is called search engine optimization as the name suggests search engine is a tool or a software or a website whatever you call it and optimization means you are optimizing the content in a way that search engine loves your content that is simple but how to do this how to make it possible i am going to discuss about various type of concepts here and uh, these concepts will help you to understand the mystery behind search engine optimization we are living in a year 2023 and the search engine optimization process was started more than say uh, more than 15 years ago when google first started uh, their journey as a search engine website i know that many people do not love history but here i want to tell you a little bit of history when search engine optimization was started uh, as a profession uh, say in uh, 2005 2006 a very few people were are aware of this fact that it is possible to optimize your site and you can rank high on using various keyword and there was a big boom at that time and people started uh, blog uh, for optimizing their for people started blog and using blog they uh, teach people about search engine optimization but you know what day by day the process of search engine optimization is improved and um, various people use different techniques for optimizing their site and some techniques are good some techniques are not so good and you know what the basic principle remain the same some points remain the same and these are classic classic uh, principle of search engine optimization in this video i'm trying to cover those classic uh, concepts that is applicable for any any beginner level learner and in future if you learn new things you must follow these basic principles I think you understand the points so first that is my introduction about uh, search engine optimization i am not using too many slides uh, here i am just using a whiteboard for explaining this so watch this video this video till the end and you will be you will learn uh, many things i am considering that you have no prior experience or no prior knowledge in that particular field and you are starting from the zero level okay first thing first uh, 
when you search something on the search engine so there is a search box and you just type few keyword uh, suppose you are looking for a nice uh, pet care shop near your locality so your intention to is to find uh, some pet care shop where you can take your pet and you want grooming of that pet or something people has different kind of needs about uh, their day-to-day -day activities from from the very beginning in the morning we start using some product for solving our problem in the marketing class i have explained this and uh, that people start using toothpaste then shaving cream then breakfast then go for office throughout the day we have different kind of need and based on those need we have an intention to solve this problem using some service or product so we search on google uh, some service or some product generally some people also search knowledge because they also need knowledge to learn new things so we use some keyword for searching this and based on that keyword google generally or other search engine generally provide you or uh, provides you the best quality information that is going to solve your problem so how google or other search engine decide that this information is uh, most appropriate or most authentic most helpful information for my uh, customer for google you are the people who search something uh, through their search engine are their customer so google wants to give the best quality service to their customer so if your content is up to that mark then google is going to place that content at the top position so this is the basic understanding of making a content very helpful for the end user means you your chances of getting first position is high there are several other factors involved in this so up to now i think you have understood the points that i have uh, discussed here so let's try to understand what is the keyword So keywords are a group of word or few uh, keyword the keyword may be a little bit short like one word or two word or a little bit longer keyword so you enter this keyword in the search box for searching the information so keyword you understood what is keyword we'll talk about few other points here for better understanding now you understood what is keyword what is keyword research then we will talk about this is number three number one we understood what is uh, seo number one We understood what is keyword. I think we we all understood what is key search engine as well. Number three is our keyword research, and number four, we will learn about on page SEO. And off page SEO. and we will learn about some web analytics as well mm. 
for this class i think these few points are good enough because it is not possible to cover the whole course in just one class we will feel bored about the topic so let us first clarify these points we understood what is su we understood what is keyword now what is keyword research suppose you want to start a business for delivering flour to um, your community or in your local area so uh, you are collecting flowers from farmer you are delivering this flower using some delivery guys and people are subscribing your service for uh, for buying flour on regular basis flowers are essentials for various events we understand uh, that you can use it in funeral in uh, and marriage anniversary in birthday for decorating your house and some uh, people also like to worship um, do worship of god using flower and uh, also we use uh, flowers bouquets as as a uh, gift item uh, for showing our uh, our feeling uh, to a person so it may be like we can give flower to my parent i can give my flower to my parent my wife my uh, my teacher for various occasion like on birthday on a special day we also uh, give flower uh, to heroes who has done great for our nation and we also love to give flower to a friend who is coming to your place after a long time from a distance for various reasons we use uh, flower so i'm not discussing about search engine optimization i'm just discussing here about a business a business an imaginary business that is based on flower right now you look at in this discussion we have used various type of keyword for describing the use of uh, flower think again you will find more innovative idea how flowers are very important i know a day when i was going i i went to a, a airport uh, if it is my personal experience so i went to an, a, an airport and a friend was coming from uh, abroad and my plan was uh, giving her a flower bookies as a presentation but you know what i search many flower store um, on during traveling to airport and i did not find a, a right flower store but when i reach to this flower uh, to this airport arrival area i find that someone has start uh, someone has a small counter and he's selling flower bookies and you know what the cost of this flower bookie is much higher than the price uh, that i found in the city area so i brought this flower because i need that flower at that time that is why uh, this is uh, this story is shared here because you can understand uh, the various type of keyword about a business from your per personal experience so dear friend after learning aco you are you are going to join one company or you are starting your own business and you want to optimize this business for your uh, for for more conversion and more profit like like getting more earning so in that case researching on a particular business will give you many keywords relevant to that then write down all those keywords in a piece of paper i do not suggest here to use a google spreadsheet or a excel because writing 
on a piece of paper is very fast and easy you don't need to type it correct it and uh, and doing uh, editing kind of thing instead you just write a long list of keywords and you know what due to the use of uh, chat gpt the ai tool you can ask you can you can ask a question like provide top keywords relevant to flower shop or flower delivery business okay chat gpt will give you a very quick answer and you can find a big list of uh, keywords about this business and you cannot imagine that the this tool has the superpower of uh, listing all those keywords very fast. So in in the year 2023, when you are starting your keyword research and uh, you are using AI, you will feel you will like you are you you are hiring someone to do your tasks and you are just going to copy and paste things okay so keyword research now you got idea about how to do keyword research and uh, with the keyword what you are going to do okay you are, you are uh, just a short definition if you forget this thing like what is search engine optimization search engine optimization is a process that optimize a website to rank high on the organic search result so this here we find the goal of search engine optimization and what is search engine optimization we understood what is keyword and we also understood what is keyword research a little bit now there are few points that generally significant for ranking high on the search engine number one is relevance about the search intent what is search intent as i discussed in the previous story that my intention was was buying a flower bouquet so i search this keyword flower bookie delivery near airport that is my intention and i use mobile phone and search a, a store so i solve my problem with this key yeah, with this keyword okay so relevant to if your content is relevant to that search intention that chance then chances is more that your page will get high rank in the results but there is one major problem in every industry there are tough competition in uh, there are few industry that are very complex compared to other few industry are few industry or niche are less competitive okay so when you deliver more value to your customer pro your content and service okay you will get the higher position in the search result how google decide that you are uh, giving more value compared to other there are tons of factors involved that because the algorithm that google use or other search engine use in creating the search result within a fraction of time is a very complex algorithm and this algorithm is based on various factors various factors so we as a search engine optimizer we need to understand those factor and based on those factor how we can improve our web page that is the main goal and when you are targeting the keyword that are relevant to the the target audience uh, intention then chances are there that you will get 
more and more uh, traffic okay more and more response so keep your content unique make your content uh, helpful for the end customer and resourceful and this is how you can get more uh, visibility in the search engine results so we understood that keyword research is a part of search engine optimization once you are doing peer key, keyword research just deep drive into the business and relevant look at the competitive business how they are decorating their website using useful content do not copy their content but you can use your innovative idea of creating the similar kind of content in that case tools like chat gpt um, is an ai tool that can help you in generating the content outline once the content outline is generated you can create detail of the uh, article and it can also give you some new content ideas as well just like type provide 10 content ideas about flower delivery business so you will find various ideas about that so how chatgpt helps uh, in that in this case just i'm showing you using the actual demo just give me a second for that so dear friend you can see i type provide keywords relevant to flower delivery business that match searcher intent so very specifically i requested to chat with gpt to provide me some keywords so you can see it has provided these keywords flower delivery online flower delivery same day flower delivery boutique delivery flowers arrangements rose delivery flower shop florist fresh flowers gift delivery sympathy flowers and romantic flowers and anniversary flowers so you can see that now it is easy to research a lot of uh, research keywords based on any business using chat gpt um, if i type provide some content idea based on this keyword then what happened um content ideas based on ever keywords so before typing this i am just uh, typing here the working word more for more uh, keywords so just cut and more so it is giving me more keywords you can see i just, I just type more and it is giving me get well flower birthday flower Congratulation flower, funeral flowers, uh, Mother's Day flowers, flower subscription, local florist delivery, customized flower agreements, so sessional flowers, eco friendly flowers. So you can see a lot of keywords are coming. Now I am typing some to give me some content idea based on this. Provide me some content idea based on the above keywords. So once I am typing this, it is giving me some article headlines that I can use for creating blog post, for creating some uh, videos, social media content, uh, and many other content for uh, content marketing. And if I write unique content based on my experience, 
based on those headline then chances are there that I will get more customers uh, based on those content so you can see that benefit of choosing an online flower delivery service for your next gift romantic flower the perfect gift for your significant other how to celebrate anniversary with stunning fresh flower beauty um, so you can see the content idea is coming very fast you can use this content idea for optimizing your business so it is just a 30 minute uh, discussion we'll continue this yes, learn seo class in the next episode we have we have covered few points and we we are now just understanding this the this is a very interesting skill that you can acquire and you can utilize it for optimizing your site in the next episode we are going to talk about on page seo then off page seo and web analytics till then take care and see you guys in the next episode.